Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the jetpack. Now, first thing you want to do is go into the club, then look over here. First, you got red, pink, red, then blue. These codes change every single time, so remember that. So, you can just type it in in chat, and then, yeah. Then, you want to head up to here. Then, basically what you want to do next is go through with this parkour here. And then what you want to do is go over here, and then you want to shoot those colors in. So you have all these colors. This is white, and this is pink. So you go red, pink, red, blue. Then if that goes, then when that goes green, you want to run over here, and then you want to hopefully survive this parkour, which is fairly easy if you play this game a lot, like me. And then if you look over there, you'll see a box that's open. Then what you want to do is head to here. Then you want to take the secret storage, and you will get the boss card. Now, this is what you get to use the jetpack. Like, this video is about getting the jetpack. And remember, the code for the vending machine always changes. You just have to look at the DJ stand. And yeah. So you can even rob this. So basically what you can do is go to the crime base and basically uh, um, uh, put it, like complete the robbery. And then yeah, then what you wanna do is head over to the airport. Now, if you're new to this game, then the airport isn't that far away. It's near the prison and you can actually take one of the highway roads to the airport from the prison. So I'm going to be using a vehicle so I can show you which route you're going to take and I'll start from the criminal base and yeah and hopefully this doesn't so anyways you want to head down over here and then what you want to do is get into your car and just do just do whatever you want and then basically uh you want to head over to the airport but I'll do that right in like 10 seconds after I complete the raid. And uh, yeah, so the jetpack does have a cooldown and stuff and uh, you cannot use the jetpack with the raven power from, a, from being a villain. So yeah, and the whole point of this video is just to help the new people that play Mad City. Um, yeah. I had lots of questions like, hey, how do you get the jetpack and stuff? So I'm just gonna make, so this is why I'm making the video. So anyways, you wanna head over to the airport. Um, please don't thank me, or else this was a waste of a video. Please, please, I don't wanna die. But, but anyways, you wanna head over to the airport, and then basically, yeah, so you can use this route here. So you want to go to the jewelry, which is this label right there. Then you want to take a right here. And then basically what you want to do is basically you'll see this yellow logo right here. That's pyramid. So you want to keep on heading forward, basically. And then you'll go over here. And then which you want to take a left, which will bring you over here. The prison's like right across there. Head over this road right here, and there's all these ruins. And then you'll find this place, which is the airport. You got your air tower there, and the airstrip there, and the power plant explosion over there. So basically what you want to do is head over here, and then you get out. Okay, now, you head over to that door right there, and then which you can open it using the boss key card, and then the jetpack's yours. There you go. You got the jetpack. Nice. And you can only use it once and other players can't. And if you get locked in there, there's a there's a back door, which I didn't get locked in there, but if you were to get locked in there, there's a back door all the way over here. You just have to walk through this. Yeah, see? And uh, yeah, that's how you get the jetpack. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
if it wasn't that helpful, I'm sorry. This is, this is like the best I'm trying to explain it without making it difficult. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye.